Hi everyone, your gal pal Kat here, and today we are going to talk about sunscreen. Ultra Sun, which is a really great sunscreen, specifically if you have sensitive skin. Okay, so backstory. Three, four years ago, a few years ago, John and I went to Cyprus on holiday. And I had, t I had bought a sunscreen from the grocery store, like you do. And then we went on holiday and like the first, first day was okay, the second day we put the sunscreen on and all of a sudden John started to get like a rash, like he broke out into a rash. So we went to the local pharmacy and the pharmacist gave him a steroid, uh, hydrocortisone, so that it could stop the itching. And then we spent the rest of the week indoors. And so we had paid all this money to go to Cyprus and it was beautiful, but we couldn't even really enjoy it because we were stuck indoors. We were stuck inside, just miserable. And I knew, I knew it had to have been the sunscreen. So I decided we were gonna try something out. So I researched mineral sun creams. I sampled a few, but they were all quite sticky and goopy, and I just didn't really like them. Um, and then I came across Ultra Sun. Now, Ultra Sun is a combination of mineral and chemical um, components. Everything that you need that's in mineral, and everything that you need in chemical, and it makes this perfect balance. So let's go back to the family sunscreen. Um, I went for an SPF 30, which was great. And what I love about this Ultra Sun is that you only have to apply it once daily unless you're gonna do a lot of swimming and you're gonna be really active and you're toweling down a lot, then you may have to reapply. But if you're just sunbathing, like what I'm doing, that's what John and I are usually doing, um, then once, once is fine, once daily. Um, it's great for sensitive skin, like if you have psoriasis or rosacea, um, it's really, really great for your skin. Um, the glimmer, the glimmer one is helpful so that you can know if you've missed any spots. So if you do the glimmer one, then you know that you've gotten everything. That's what I liked about it anyway. Um, it blocks both UVA and UVB rays. Now what that means is the UVA is what causes aging and UVB is what causes you to burn, but they both cause cancer. So, I mean, you, it helps block your, you know, protects your skin. Um, this family bottle, which was 150 milliliters, was perfect for John and I for like two average sized adults for seven days, which when I researched the Australian Cancer Foundation said that you should be using 35 mils a day per person. So like per application. So I think I may get the 250 mils next time because I really want to protect my skin. Um, and then if you want, the 100 mils is perfect to carry on. So this is the 100 milliliter bottle and you can totally carry that on into your suitcase if you're doing a carry on. Um, so that's what's great about that one. And the thing is with Ultrasun, you do have to apply 20 minutes before you go out into the sun. But I think that's the rule for like sunscreens across the board. So it's not really that big of a difference like all things it says to avoid midday sun you know um if you are in the water a lot you need to reapply if you towel down a lot you need to reapply you know all those rules apply across the board for any sunscreen but was what's really great about this one is that it is higher on the the cost spectrum but having to only apply once daily and like if you go onto their website, I'll, I'll put the link down below, you can see a video where people are using the, like the UV ultraviolet lights, and you can see where your damaged skin is and how like the sunscreen completely coats your skin. And so like, if you think about it, you're just like bathing and covering your skin and protecting it the best you possibly can. And we got to enjoy every single day out, no issues here. And when I looked up, other bloggers agreed. Even there was even um, a post where this woman who had survived skin cancer swears by Ultra Sun. It's what she uses. And so it's just, I, 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 haven't, I haven't tried anything better. And 
I feel like every review I read, nobody has anything bad to say about it because there's nothing bad about it. I mean, it is impeccable sunblock and it is impeccable sunscreen and yeah, it's the best. And so I highly, highly recommend Ultra Sun. Um, I'll put links below so you can find, look where to find it. Um, and good luck and have fun if you're going on holiday somewhere. Or, or if you live in a really sunny climate and you are someone who wears sunscreen daily, I've started to wear sunscreen on my face because um, I read that even car sunlight is bad for your skin. Anyway, thanks for watching and hello, thanks for subscribing. I have, you guys are super awesome and thanks for commenting and stuff and I hope you guys have a great day and I really hope the sun comes out soon because I am so done with wearing sweaters. I want to start wearing, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm so done with it. <laughs> anyway, until next time.